our card today is the judgment. We are receiving a wake up call. We are in this solar eclipse in Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, the first new moon of the astrological new year, a super moon. So we're feeling the energies of this solar eclipse that we will still feel throughout our life for around six months. So this is judgment. Looking at areas within our lives that we judge ourselves or maybe judge others. Chiron in conjunct with Aries, the sun and the moon in this solar eclipse. Asking us to go within into the wound, into the wound of separation, of rejection, of victimization. We have done the healing work from the lunar eclipse in Libra on the 25th of March. Looking at relationships in our lives that we may have lost ourselves that we were codependent on for our happiness healing those wounds the great attractor is within the energy of this solar eclipse asking us to surrender to surrender all those judgments to surrender our self-criticism to stop blaming others to surrender the energy of anything that is leaving us feeling unhappy and in a place of discomfort, whether it is in our minds, our bodies, our emotions. Chiron, the wounded healer, is conjunct with the sun, moon in Aries during this solar eclipse. And Chiron, the wounded healer, was conceived through rape and was abandoned at birth. He was rejected until Apollo found him and nurtured him and healed him and gave wisdom to him. So Chiron is now the sacred healer and is assisting us through the healing of the I am wound as we're moving through this solar eclipse. This evening, before you go to bed, speak your intentions into water. Water holds memory, so as we're speaking our intentions into the water and leaving it overnight to bask in this solar eclipse energy and then empty the glass of water onto the earth tomorrow to allow our intentions to manifest to take seed so we're almost at the end of a full cycle doing a life review this evening calling back all parts of our soul that is trapped in past lifetimes where we gave our power away through fear or lack of self-love calling our power back now powerful photonic light codes waves of energy coming in solar light codes coming in Mercury in retrograde, also in Aries, retrograding through Aries, asking us to really 
be vigilant with our communication, with our thoughts, with our words, with our actions. Mercury, the god of communication, communicates to the highest in the highest heavens, to the darkest of the dark, asking us to retrace our tracks, to call back those words that we have spoken, that have sent out threads of vibrational energy that start to manifest in this material world, to use our words to create new earth, to create a new reality, to bring healing to everyone we speak to. The time of judgment is over. The time of blaming anyone is over. Taking full responsibility and allowing the great attractor to dissolve any intrusions within our bodies, any inverted thoughts, behaviours that we may be not seeing, just surrendering anything that is no longer serving us, that is not on our soul path, giving that surrender, allowing ourselves to awaken. The angels are sounding their trumpets to awaken us, to awaken us into this new vibration of new earth. The angels are sounding, bringing through a vibration of a wake up, a high frequency that will wake us up to who we truly are. We have been asleep. We have been in a, under a spell of control and fear we're setting ourselves free of all that letting go of all judgment now allowing our wound or our wounds to be anointed by the light of this solar eclipse by the healing energy of Chiron a powerful energy shift occurring and as the planets move in the cosmos everything is in divine order saturn is conjunct to mars mars is in a passive state receiving downloads receiving spiritual downloads before he starts his journey into Aries and around the zodiac wheel again. So he's resting. Saturn, the father. Mars, the son. Two energies can be conflicting, but in this sign of Pisces, there is a spiritual understanding a spiritual wisdom from this relationship a karmic cleansing of the issues of the father and the son venus in aries con conjunct and communicating with neptune the higher octave of of venus taking us into that place of high love, into that supreme love. We are moving alongside the supreme galactic centre, receiving the heavenly downloads as the great attractor is drawing anything that is blocking us from our higher timeline. This is a time of awakening, of beautiful awakening. And in the morning when you have spoken and set your intentions, start the day being ultra vigilant of our thoughts, of our actions, speaking with love, bringing healing to everyone we come into contact with, seeing them at a soul level, looking beyond the illusion now, we're awakening. The time has come for all of us to 